Hello friends, my name is Rajkumar Thenwa. Today I will discuss about the evolution of a function for different time intervals in simulation. So if you have a function and uh, different time intervals are given to evaluate that function, then how we can implement that function in the simulation. So we are going to discuss about that. So in my previous problem, uh, I discussed about the implementation of function which has one time slot. But today, the problem is little bit different. I have one function that has uh, different values or uh, different expression to evaluate at the different value of time. So when t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 9, the function value is minus 3t square plus 5. And when t is less than 0 and greater than minus 9, in that case it is 3t square plus 5. And uh, we have to consider the step size delta t is equal to 0, 1, 5. I have implemented same problem in the MATLAB also. So you can get the idea how we implement this problem. So today uh, we will implement this problem in the simulink. You can compare the results also with my MATLAB results. That link is given in the description. And finally uh, you have to display the result in the scope. So you may think that uh, I have also implemented such type of problem in my previous video. Uh, but uh, today definitely I am going to give some uh, different concept for that. So uh, because uh, in the previous lecture you have implemented a uh, simple function. So uh, you know how we can uh, configure the parameter, how we can uh, configure the simulation time. Now we have the two uh, expressions. Uh, for the different time values so we have to implement these so let's see how we can do in the simulation so we have opened one new model so first of all we required the time t for that we can use the clock so clock use the simulation time so by the clock we will get the time t now we have to check the value of time t what is the value of t according to that we have to implement minus 3t square plus 5 or uh, 3t square plus 5 right so first of all I have to pass this value through a condition right I have to check the value so for that I can use one if block right so that is available inside the port subsystems so in the port subsystem we have the if block so now uh, this block is getting the value of t and it will compare with the condition so we have to provide the condition double click on the block you will get the condition so we have the input here only one that is time no problem the time is coming in the form of u1 right so you have to use the u1 for the condition so first condition is when u1 is greater than 0 and we have to consider 0 also so greater than equal to 0 right and uh, second condition is uh, and u1 is less than equal to 9 okay so this is the first condition and second condition is u1 is greater than minus 9 and u1 less than 0 right and so else condition we can remove this so unmark this option so else will not appear here apply so now these two conditions are appeared right if this condition is satisfied minus 3t square plus 5 should be executed and uh, if this condition satisfy 3t square plus 5 should be executed right so for that we have to use uh, if action block so that is also available in the port subsystem so this is the if action block so I have implemented the same problem previously also right this will go to the action right so based on this condition this will work and uh, now if this condition is satisfied then what should be implemented we can implement that inside this block right we can just uh, remove this block right so output will be required but uh, input we can uh, use here the clock so this is t basically right so we have to implement minus 3t square so minus 3t square so minus 3 is the uh, gain we can say and uh, before that we have to implement t square so this is the t how I can get the t square so I can use the uh, multiply block right that is available inside the maths operation so in the maths operation we have the product right so we can perform the product operation so now at this point you have the t square okay after that you can use the gain so there's the gain the value of gain is minus 3 right connect this 
so here we have a minus 3 t square okay plus 5 so plus 5 for that purpose you can use the add option uh, add block you have add right so minus 3 t square coming from here and you can use one constant block so constant block and you can enter the 5 value here right and now you can connect this to the output right so this is minus 3t square plus 5 now go to the outside so now uh, input is removed from here so we are providing the input uh, from inside and you have only one output right now you can create the one copy of this block so now you can check here uh, in the second condition we have only uh, difference in the 3 and minus 3 so I am just making is a 3 right so now this subsystem is ready now you can connect this with this condition right now we have the two subsystems and now we have to combine the output of these two subsystems so for combining we have multiple options so if we go to the signal routing uh, you can check here because uh, you want to combine two signals and you want to get uh, one output so you have one bus creator option right uh, here one uh, we have the two input and one output and uh, in the mux uh, you know i think about the mux i have discussed previously uh, apart from mux we have the vector concatenate right that is the two input one output we have the merge i have explained merge previously so first uh, i am using the merge after that i will use the vector concatenate and uh, bus also right so we can merge the signal and use one scope right and uh, do not forget to configure the parameter because we have to provide the simulation time minus 9 to 9 okay so and we have to provide the step size also so don't forget to set that so for that just go to the modeling and uh, model setting set the start time minus 9 stop time is 9 right and the step size is fixed step okay and uh, fixed step size is 0 0.5 okay now you can run the model so check the output so we are getting a little uh, bit different result so definitely we have uh, done some mistake in the condition right so in the starting point we have made some mistake so we can check here uh, we have taken the condition u1 greater than minus 9 right uh, but in the problem we have t time is greater than equal to minus 9 right so we have to correct that so you have to put greater than equal to right apply okay run again yes now we are getting the perfect result right so if you make any mistake in the condition definitely that would reflect in your result right so you have to keep in mind whether you are giving the condition properly or not okay after that uh, i can use some other option that is a vector concatenate so by using this option i can also get the output but what is the difference of this i want to show you the result about that so I am using one scope right if you run this this will create some error so uh, in this case uh, you cannot use the two blocks if you are using merge block in that case you cannot use the concatenate block right so you have to either remove this block or uh, we have option to command this right so this uh, po portion we can say at this time is disconnected now you can run this now you can check the output yes so the output of a vector concatenate is giving the output for each value of the time right so when system is not working at that time it is producing zero and when it is responding at that time it is giving the output accordingly right so now i think uh, you can observe the uh, difference between the two outputs right and the same output is uh, available in the case of uh, bus creator but bus creator we use when uh, we want to combine various signal 
at uh, one point uh, and we want to route those uh, signals from one place to other place okay so suppose uh, I have 10 uh, lines so instead of 10 lines I want to use one bus creator by creating bus I can combine the 10 lines okay and uh, at the other end I can again uh, use the bus select option so I can separate the individual line and I can get the signal accordingly so these are also very useful for the routing purpose right I think uh, now you can uh, easily implement the functions which have different time slots so I hope uh, you have enjoyed this lecture if you enjoy this lecture please like and share with your friends if you have any problem you can write to me thank you